What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Angry Jungle, and Robert R. Ray. We're there. It's the background. Robert R. Rex. And I am here to talk with you motherfuckers about an epic unboxing. Yes. I has an unboxing. Oh, let's get close. Come closer. Come closer. Closer. I really wish this camera was sharper. Really do. What's up, Yaggity Yag? All right, so let's just get to the good stuff first. I guess we'll get to the we'll get to the good stuff here. Let's uh, what's in the box? What's in the box? We want us to know what's in the box. I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. This, ladies and gentlemen. Some seriously, seriously epic shit here. Okay, like so epic. Like I wanted to open it, but I had to wait. I had to wait because I wanted to share this. I wanted to share this with the world. I wanted to share it with you, motherfuckers. I wanted you guys to feel the. Feel the fucking joy. Yeah. Flat rate. What's up, Tinchi? Okay, here we go. Tonight. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Okay. There we go. Pack the shit out of it. What? What? Heavy, heavy. Other stuff here. More. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So I guess we'll start with. Recognize this. You guys recognize that, right? Okay. 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 Trying to calm down now. Trying to calm down now. I don't know if I can, though. I don't know if I can, though. Oh my god. Oh my god. Screaming. Mm. <laughs> My lord. Mm. Pictures do no justice. Oh, God, yes. Okay. 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 Dip, dip. Let's see how big it goes. What does this one do? I have no idea how it goes. I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh no, it does matter. It does matter. Yes, it does matter. Oh, oh, my fucking hell. And yes, it is designed to ride like this. Okay. This is for a flashlight. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now, you're asking yourself, Rob, what the fuck is all that other shit? Well, I, uh, had a conversation with a 
certain sheath maker named Michael Spanger. I think that's how I say his fucking name. I hope I didn't fuck his name up, but Michael Spanger. And he is, in my humble opinion, definitely one of the top leather sheath makers on the planet. And uh, I said to him, I want to make a test rig where I can walk around with this son of a bitch right here to represent the motherfucking spook time best skaters. You know, just spook time best skaters, you know what I'm saying? Of course, him being a madman the way he is, he's like, hell yeah, motherfucker, let's do this shit. Okay? Wow. Now that's an ass whooping belt. Okay? Wow. So I have to ask him, how does this listen? I have to ask him how this is all gonna work. Because I assume I have to assume that this thing open up and close or just oh no, that's all that's one piece right there. What's that noise? I assume this some bitch right here. Gonna, gonna hook in somewhere. I'm not to ask him how this works, man. I didn't, I didn't see. Oh. So anyway, I'm hoping that this guy goes something like this, right? And that this goes something like this. Nah. Yes. Okay. Hooks like this, and I'm hoping that this hooks somewhere like this, or this goes on my 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 hip, and he just knows I'm a big dude, so he gave me a big ass leather belt, which was really cool. If that is the case, and then this thing just goes like a, you know, kind of goes like a. I wonder, you know, what I wonder. It almost seems like move the side like that. Yeah. This guy right here going here somehow. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It looks like it just unsnapped. So it goes a little snap. And I slide this around the back like that. Can I do this? And snap that. Snap that back again. I don't think that's correct. I think I'm, I'm missing something here. I think I'm, I'm missing the, the thing in my bobby. This guy maybe. Tim Paul. More like this. Okay. Like that. And the belt goes down there and hooks into the belt somehow. I'm not sure. I will find out when I get it all done and all strapped up and whatever. Strapped on. Like whatever. Then uh, I'll let you guys know. I looks like I've also scout carried this some bitch. Way he's got it set up right here. Oh, just like that. Take that off, put it on the belt, put it in the back. God, it snaps fucking tight. Well, I do love leather. I do just love the leather. So I will find out how this is supposed to be set up. He might have a note in here somewhere. I just didn't see it. So I'll look. But I wanted to share this with you guys because. And we're not done there. Because guess what else showed up? Today, put this back here. Where'd you go? Here it is. <gasps> what is that? Why, well, that be official spook time investigators pass right there. Well, why is that special, Rob? Why is that special? Yes, yes. Pinchy, that is the sheep for my info and punisher. Ah. The special because this some bitch blows. Yes, indeed, people. It's a spooky. It's a spooky. It blows in the dark. Now I'm getting with the UV light, so that's really makes it bright. 
It's not like it super duper 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 glows. But it is, you know, glow in the dark uh, thread. And it's a uh, Meryl Borders Velcro on the back. Nice little blue. It's blue with the glow in the dark right there. It's pretty. It's a nice patch. So again, I have had really good success with um, the studio. And I do recommend them. I think the studio does a good job, but you have to set your expectations right. You know, like when I um, my order my stuff through the studio, it takes, I know it's going to take at least uh, a month for it to get done and then sent to me. Yeah, attention. See? This is my... My uh, special black in the 4X. Look at that. Just look at the lockup on that. That is just like a fucking jigsaw puzzle. He is a fucking master. Master of the sheaths. I kid you not. Gangsta. Gangsta. And he distressed. He distressed the leather and shit to make it more cr 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 crazy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Look at him. I don't motherfucker with this too. You've been misbehaving, motherfucker. Feel mm. mm. me? Alright. I got more. Some of y'all that's been following me on the old uh, Facebook and whatnot. I've seen I've been doing some other designs. Such as, good morning. I see the assassins have failed. Right? Or, uh, not today, bitches. Not today. Or, what the fuck? Where's the food? And, my wife's favorite, whatever. I'm getting cheese fries. Okay. And then somebody from uh, Australia requested this design. So yes, that was that was made specifically for Australia for somebody who said I want to represent goddamn motherfucking U.S. of A. with a motherfucking angry jackalope and a motherfucking U.S.A. flag, bitches. I'm like, hell yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And then I wanted to see, you know, how the stickers would come out for my own brand, you know, Cryptid Cocktails. I wanted to see how. What was that? Hmm. Cryptid Cocktails. So this is like a bigger size. And that's a smaller one. Even a small one, the print came out really good. I was pretty happy with it. And um, this is my best selling sticker right now. Uh, on Redbubble. It's the Rossinante girl from uh, The Expanse. This is the chick, the um, the logo that sits on the side of the Rossinante on The Expanse. Um, yeah, it's bootleg. Shh, I'll tell you it's bootleg. I had to recreate that bitch. And then, of course, spook time investigators. So, patch wise, you know, they did a pretty legit job with. You know, taking the core logo and shrinking it down with embroidery. I was pretty happy with that, you know. I mean, you can't really tell on the magazine what it is, but... What's up, Simu Khan? Do a little motherfucking show and tell, man. A little show and tell, man. And, of course, all of this is... Uh, Red Bubble. And I, what I've done is, I've I've gone away with um, 
trying to do my own store, host my own shit. So now I have everything just sitting up on Redbubble. And Redbubble, if you guys have designs and stuff and you just want to, you know, put that shit out for the world, the, the advantage of Redbubble is you can put your design up, set your margin, and, and leave it. Not do anything. And they handle everything. They handle all of the printing, all of the shipping, etc., etc., etc. What kind of alcohol would be in the Skinwalker? Um, I don't know. I keep wanting to put absinthe in everything, but I don't think that's right. Give me a little Johnny Walker. Get it? Because of Skinwalker. So something with Johnny Walker and some that's really super, super, super tart to make you jump out of your skin. Like, oh, damn it. That's, 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 this is my first stab at it. You know what I'm saying? That was my first stab at it. So, Super Guy, I'll give you the, I'll give you the quick round. I got a sheet made. Michael Spanger. Let me see if I say his name right. I, I think that's how you say it. You, you know, I always have a hard time. Ugh, with people who don't have like easy fucking names, you know what I mean? Let's see. Banjo. Alright. I think that's right. S P A N G E R S. Is there an S at the end? Michael Spangers. Michael Spangers. Michael, 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 Michael. Not Michael Myers. Moonshine would be good. But, um, I've been a fucking fan of this dude's shit forever. Like, he does, I mean, he does a lot of shit with leather. But, like, I think I first spotted him on the grams, on the Instagram, with uh, one of his journals. I think he did a Necromonicon. And I was like, what? And he's also, like, a really fucking good artist. Like, he does these crazy pen sketches and shit that he does. But he got into doing... Like, a lot of leather work. So he does, like, a ton of sheets. Like, I think recently he did a sheet for um, Prepared My 101. And um, when I told him, I'm getting into monster hunting and shit, and I needed something to go with my full my full ensemble, my full outfit, I needed, you know, uh, a chest rig where I could just wear my knife on my chest 24-7. You know what? I'm not mad at you on that one, Simicon. Tequila, yeah, I could see that. I could see that. I probably used some of the rocks tequila, right? Right there. That's the rocks tequila right there. I'd use a little bit of that. I think that would work. I think you're right. And uh, so, you know, I was sitting there and I was trying to figure out different types of uh, uh, chest rigs and stuff like that. In fact, I was down with 3D gear. And, you know, we were working on bags and stuff. And we were coming up with concepts on how to attach a big ass heavy blade to uh, the shoulder straps. And so, you know, they got these D rings and stuff, and they work really well, but there was uh, nothing down in the bottom here for me to attach the bottom half. So, uh, you know, I was trying to use this blade. Let me put the safety on so it doesn't fucking hurt myself and uh, what I was doing was I was using some velcro and some other uh, snap d-rings and bah was hooking it on and it was like this but then you know it was dangling but since I had velcro on I just used the velcro and I had it kind of last through some of the paracord and when I did it actually uh, cinched up pretty nice on the backpack and I was like dude this gangster right the other thing that I worked with uh, with 3D Gear, incidentally, this is a beast. Three-day bag. Man, I'll be doing a review on this pretty soon. But uh, the other thing that I was talking with the guys at 3D Gear, I was like, hey, guys, um, I have this leather Monster Hunter bag that... Um, it's not, it's not going to cut it. It's not going to do exactly what I want, right? It's not going to be able to uh, do all the stuff that I want, blah, blah, blah. So we kind of were looking at this, and incidentally, they had just came out with a, a, a new kind of carrier bag. And so I took everything out of this, 
and you know put it on that one and so i will be doing a video showing that fucking monstrosity soon what's up we got the magic the magic magic motherfucking jackalope see a roll call up in this motherfucker jackalope mickis the angry jackalope uh connect what's up what's up what's up uh silicon and the magic jackalope what's up magic it's a long time, motherfuckers. I know. Long time, right? Long time. Long time. Love me. And then, uh, the other thing, too. Spook time, the skaters. Glow in the dark patch. Glow in the dark. Glow in the dark. Blam, bitches. What? What? Rob, it fucking glows. Oh, don't tell me that shit. It motherfucking glows in the dark. Yes, it does. It does, indeed, glow in the motherfucking dark for about a hot three, four seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I tried. I was like, ooh, is this bitch going to stay like glowing for a while? And I took like real powerful fucking flashlights and beamed it on that bitch. And said, oh, and it said, ah, well, what do you expect? It's a fucking patch. It's not, a, you know, it's not even a, uh, like I'm sure if it was the vinyl patches, the glow would last longer. But glow thread? I mean, come on now. That's pretty gangster. Ooh. Got it. Ninja style. All right. And then, of course, stickers, red bubble. Boom, check it out. So you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a lot of shit, guys. I'm getting ready. Big problems, big problems. Well, problem number one was uh, day job had fire drills dropped on me, and I have been playing firefighter for the better part of the month. So all of the stuff that I had planned to do with the monster hunting, the uh, So What's Good magazine, Spook Time magazine, blah, 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 got put on hold temporarily. So I'm like, well, gotta do what you gotta do, right? Gotta do what you gotta do. Second thing was, I had a bone spur whoop, in my mouth that was really painful, so I had to go get that opened up, grind down, stitched up, and now the stitches are finally coming out. But guess what? There's one coming on this side now. I can feel it. I gotta rub my tongue. And I can feel a barb. I'm like, what? Why am I getting all of these bones for all these fragmental things coming out of my body? It, like, fucking hurts. So that sucks. Um, but the good news was, as I was down there getting my shit sliced open, Homeboy Straight told me, oh, yeah, dude, we could totally put implants in your fucking mouth and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, cool. That'd be good. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh... Having done some chopping myself for all this, say you made it look easy when you chop stuff. Well, yeah, I wasn't trying to. I was just trying to do the chopping. But the shit, it ain't easy. The shit is. Because I guess people don't take into consideration the shock. When you hit shit. Wait, let me back up a little bit so it looks a little better. Because down here like this, that looked a little inappropriate. But up here, that looks a little better. Ah, look, I'm throwing it up. Uh, uh, anyway. Um, yeah, when you... When you chop shit, that's just harsh. Especially uh, you're going ham on it. Like you're giving it everything you got. My elbows, boy, were never happy. Always, always very unhappy. And then a few times where I didn't lanyard that shit right, the motherfucker flew out my hands and nearly fucking lanced my leg. Yeah, those are those are fun times. I missed that. I don't. I, I missed that. No, I don't. I did. No, I don't. I did. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know, man. That that shit fucking crazy. I was like, man, what am I growing like fucking bangs and shit? Like, <sighs> we have like fucking things popping out of my fucking mouth. I actually had a nightmare magic where I was dreaming I had my skeleton, like my spine and shit, like like a porcupine. And I had a dream my wife was hugging me, and it said, and it like like it impaled her and shit. It was a horrible fucking dream. I woke up scared as fuck. Like, oh my god, I'm going to jail. I fucking impaled my wife with my back spikes. <laughs> and I woke up and looked at her, and I'm like, oh fucking thank god that shit didn't happen. Whew, that would have been hard to explain to the kitties. Sorry, kitties. Daddy poked mommy, not in a good way. So anyway, um, yeah. So I just want to share that with you guys. I had a, a few setbacks and. Uh, monster hunting wise, I'm still down to do that. I'm still in the process of rehabilitating my leg and my ankle, but I'm working out with my son 
we work out Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, we do a good, good long hour workout. We 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 we, we do it hard. And um, <laughs> and uh, then I'm also now walking a dog. We we walk the dog about 1.2 miles. And uh, so yeah, so I'm finally getting. I'm finally getting there. And uh, I told my wife, yeah. We're, we're going to go to this pretty soon. And then, of course, the wife did a flip of on me and said, she doesn't want to play Jenny Jones. And I'm like, but babe, you you have to be. You're my Jenny Jones. I'm Jeremiah Jones. You're my Jenny Jones. That's just the way it's got to be. She said, no, I don't want to be. So I said, fine. So Jenny Jones is going to die. Spoiler. I was saying it ahead of time. And now the new Jenny Jones is a gun. There's a gun. Very special gun. I can't show it here because this is the tubes. The tubes doesn't like to see guns. But um, yeah, I got a uh, really cool Father's Day uh, Father's Day present from my wife. Uh, she got me a SIG with a P320 AXG uh, Scorpion. Oof, she's sweet. She's sweet, sweet, sweet. Sweet girl, sweet girl. And um, well, that's not bad too. <laughs> just kidding. Well, that's awesome. And so I said, fine. You know, I play Jenny, then the gun's Jenny. The gun's Jenny Jones now. So if you guys hear me refer to my Jenny, oh, don't make me go get my Jenny now. That's what we're talking about. All right. So I have to get with Michael. I'm calling him Michael because I don't know if it's appropriate to call him Mike. I don't want, you know, I don't like when people call me abbreviated versions of my name unless. You know, they hear me say, yeah, I'm Rob Rick, so they call me Rob, right? But, like, sometimes people call me Bob, or somebody will call me Rick, you know, Richard, Ricky, all these weird derivatives, you know, I'm like, okay. So, we're talking with Michael, and I find out how the fuck I do the whole chess rigging thing, and I'll take a ton of fucking photos, I'll do a proper fucking video uh, showcasing that, I'll do a proper video on the uh, patches, proper video, on the uh, 3D gear, uh, three-day bag. Uh, also going to be doing um, some vids on some, um, so I could do videos on the gun. I just can't do a live video on the gun. So I'll, I'll do a video on that. And then uh, there'll be some other stuff that's coming pretty soon. So, oh, and there'll be some alcohol, obviously, because, you know, you guys saw the, uh, you saw the uh, cryptid cocktails. And the other thing I did is I got a domain called WTF Monsters. So if you go to WTFMonsters.com, that's where all of the, the cryptid um, designs are at. So there's like stickers, shirts, hoodies, fucking bath mats, clocks. Fuck. You na I'm telling you guys. Anybody that's got a little bit of design sense and you have designs, you can throw that shit up on motherfucking Redbubble. But if you're not, you're gonna be you're you're missing out because it doesn't cost you shit. You put that fucking shit up there, people see it, they buy it, everything from face masks to fucking you name it, it's there. So highly, highly, highly recommend Redbubble. Uh, they have been just really easy to work with. Also. I know some people don't like them. I have had no problems with these motherfuckers at all. Um, the studio. The studio and the patches. And you guys know on the patch game, shit. I got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I've had 11 jobs with these guys. They, they had two mistakes in the old jobs. Resolved them to my satisfaction. No problem. Just don't order shit and expect them to get it to you in like fucking two weeks. Understand, you're going to do the order process in the U.S. They're going to put it in China. China's going to do it. You're going to be part of the whole approval process. And here's the fun part. They approved this shit. They, they told me they shipped this shit on uh, Friday. Friday is shipped from China. Booyah, here it is today. So I have had no problems with... Uh, the studio and I think right now they even have a uh, pretty deep discount Michael Spangers is in the motherfucking house 
What's up, my brother? Am I saying your fucking name right, dude? Michael Spanjus. If I'm saying it wrong, correct me so that I may appropriately call you my brother. Because I have to do it right. You know what I feel? You feel me? I have to do it right. And, and for you motherfuckers that don't know, he's in the motherfucking house right now. Shit. I might sleep with this. Seriously. I may lay with this in bed. You know? Like this. Because it's fucking... That's right. Yes, right. Medicus, the risk I took was calculated. Yes, I suck at math. So, so yeah, Mike. Michael. Michael. Mike. You get a mic? Magic mic. How do I do this, dude? I'm going to have to get with you because I don't know how to... I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I feel fucking dumb, dude. I feel dumb. I don't know how I'm supposed to hook this all up. I'm assuming this is for my big ass. Because this is perfect. I know this will fit me. Or it can fit on my chest. Either or. It's perfectly good. I just don't know. I just don't know how to do the rest. I don't know what I do. So, if you want to send me a message or something, that would be most most appreciated. Because I feel dumb dumb. I feel like a dumb dumb. God damn, is it just me? Am I just a freakazoid or do I love the fucking snot of leather? <sighs> My wife gets mad at me sometimes, so I just sit there sniffing leather like. <sighs> it smells delicious. Delicious. It's so fucking awesome. But yeah, you guys, I, I really cannot express to you. I can't express to you just how sick. Just how sick this shit is. Look at that shit. That's. That's motherfucking perfect. That's motherfucking perfect. Like, if you did this by hand, fuck me. Like, I would assume this shit was done with magic or something. Like, he used a spell or some shit. Because. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. That's motherfucking Goddamn perfect. That's like, fuck, dude. And, even if y'all don't want a full up, like, leather rig, man, these badges, dude, just the badge idea, that's fucking gangster. Fucking kick. Fucking retrofit any of your shit. Make it look speck a motherfucking tacky love. That's fucking. Gangster. That's gangster. I just want to get attacked by a bear now and just have a big rah right across that shit. You know what I'm saying? Ah. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, yeah, uh, you guys will be seeing this a lot. A lot. A lot. Especially on the Instagram. Just, just prepare yourself. There would be pictures of me naked, just laying with it, like, oh, just, just know, this is going to get really questionable, I think. I think, I think motherfuckers are going to be like, dude, are you fucking serious? And they're like, like, I'm going to be in public, just walking around, you know, he, law enforcement, hey, this guy is dangerous, hey, I spooked time to investigate, I'm saving your life, law enforcement, don't attack me, I'm a good guy. <laughs> All right, guys. I could sit here and sing the praise of this shit for days and days and days. Because it's so fucking amazing. So fucking amazing. You just don't fucking know. I told his ass, too. I was like, oh, my God. I'm more excited than a fucking kid before Christmas. I'm more excited than a kid, a fat kid with cake. I'm more excited than a virgin in a gangbang. I don't know. That shit was appropriate. But fuck it. It is what it is. All right, motherfuckers. I'm out. I'm going to fucking experiment with this shit and just run around naked having fucking jumps and shit. Happy as fuck. Michael, you're the motherfucking man, dude. That's all I got to fucking say. You're the motherfucking man. All right. I'll see you, motherfuckers. Same bad time, same bad channel. When I see you. I don't even do same bad time, same bad channel. When I see you, motherfuckers, again, which will be soon. All right, guys. Fuck them out. Later. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs>